Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we are checking out new for 2013, the Kershaw Thermite. This is an awesome new, uh, I'd say large EDC slash tactical blade from the guys over at Kershaw and they have given us an amazing uh, offering for us to check out for 2013. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of jump right into this baby. Uh, this was designed by Rick Hinder who does a lot of zero tolerance knives as well as the Cryo and soon to be Cryo 2 knives uh, that we know from the Kershaw line as well. Uh, great knife designer. He's come up with this new blade design. As you can see here, he calls it the Spanta kind of a spear point tanto is what he kind of calls it I love it it's awesome super strong tip you can see there uh, great great tough tip so you're gonna be able to get some really good stabbing but you're also gonna get some of that belly for some of the slicing and then some really nice straight cuts as well it is a hollow grind made out of Chinese 8 CR 13 MOV yes it is a Chinese made uh, blade I'm hoping that they'll come out with a sandvik version in the future because I gotta tell you guys this is probably my favorite blade so far from Kershaw this year uh, it is an awesome awesome blade uh, you got a three and a half inch actual uh, blade so legal in most states, not everyone, but three and a half inches to the handle, which is great. Uh, again, very thick blade. I like that a lot. I want to say it's about an eighth of an inch thick with a great, just again, great tip there, man. You're going to be able to do some prying, some stabbing. Very, very good, solid blade there. I love that. Just really, really well designed. Uh, and then we'll jump right into the deployment as well. And then we're going to do some cutting, some cardboard cutting, rope cutting, and look at some other options that we get here with this knife. Uh, but the deployment is their speed safe open assist. You got some thumb studs right here, which you can see are really nice, large, pronounced, as well as the finger flipper. And uh, you can just see, again, those finger, those uh, thumb studs are awesome on either side, totally ambidextrous. You're going to be able to grab them, no problem, because of how far away they are from the handle and how well they stick up. And then you just, boom, whip that sucker open, the coiled spring open, a speed safe open assist, kicks in and whips open with authority and uh, gets locked in there. I just love using it. Almost kicks it out of my hand how strong it is when you use the thumb studs and then you got that finger flipper which also acts as a guard it just feels very very comfortable in your hand uh, and you can use the finger flipper if you like really nice pronounced finger flipper easy to grab boom whips open with authority as well uh, just a little bit slower I've noticed I like using the thumb studs a little bit more because it just seems to whip out a little bit faster than when I use the finger flipper but either one is an option for you uh, and then uh, just awesome just awesome awesome blade I love it how it feels in my hand, how it looks. So let's go ahead, do some more testing. Let's do some uh, cardboard and rope cutting and uh, some other tests and just talk about a few other options that you're gonna be getting when you purchase a Kershaw Thermite. All right, so here we go through some cardboard with the Thermite. You can see how easy it is to cut through that cardboard like butter. Then you grab a little wrinkle right there. There we go. Cutting right through that nice thick cardboard with ease. So it's going to do a great job, you know, processing through cardboard boxes. You know, your daily EDC tasks that you might have around your office or around the work site. Uh, you know, very, very easy to do. Awesome. And just feels very comfortable as I do that push cut with that nice set of jimping along the back there. Uh, it just feels really, really comfortable. Grasps my hand really well. And I can really get that good leverage and push cut down, you know, on that cardboard. I really, really like using that thermite uh, with just, you know, cutting through stuff. It's awesome. All right, so here we go. We got some 3 8 nylon cord, very heavy duty, you know, you use around a campsite. Uh, I like to use this just because it's a little tougher than 1095 with cutting. So here we go with the thermite. Let's see how this thing operates. Goes through there with the hollow grind. Boom. Real nice and easy, really smooth cut through that nylon cord. Uh, very, I'm not putting really any pressure on that. Just boom, and it's gone right through your nylon webbing, molly, uh, you know, your paracord cutting. Uh, rope around a campsite, whatever. Uh, you know, this thermite is just going to do an awesome job when it comes to cutting. And with that hollow grind and that HCR 13 MOV, just great design overall. Uh, going to just be an awesome EDC slicer for you. Going to love it every time you open it up and use it to cut something. Uh, your thermite, you're just going to love holding it in your hand, love using it. You can see even with wood, this thermite is going to do a great job. So you could totally be rocking this around your campsite. Uh, you know, it's going to do awesome in carving and whittling it just feels amazing in my hand i just love how it's feeling great you know just nice flat no thumb ramp to worry about very easy locked into place and uh, go to town carving on your wood or whatever materials you might need to be cutting 
and blast them through with your thermite. All right, let's go ahead and look at the pocket clip here on the thermite. This is an awesome loop over design pocket clip, extremely strong, which is really nice. You know, I'm really having to get underneath there. So this is a very strong loop over design. Rides inconspicuously, nothing sticking up if you carry it tip down. Uh, I don't really prefer that, which is great because they have tip up, tip down, left or right. So this is totally ambidextrous uh, knife that you could use this in any way carrying in the pocket clip. Uh, just rides really well. I just haven't had a chance, my uh, little bit driver broke before I could uh, film this video. So I haven't had a chance to flip the pocket clip, but uh, it's going to ride really deep regardless of you carrying it tip up, tip down, left or right, which is awesome. And I really, really dig that uh, about the pocket clip. Just really, really well designed with that loop over. So you get an idea of how well this pocket clip rides. Very nice, you know, unobtrusive, you know, rides really well in your pocket. Very easy to grab, pull it out, use the knife, operate it, close it and put it back into place and it's not going to destroy your pocket because of that 410 steel liner uh, but it's very strong so it's not going to slide out of your pocket the pocket clip is very you know stiff up against the steel handle so it's not going to you know slide out of your pocket really easily but that's awesome how low it rides in your pocket with that really nice strong loop over design clip all right let's go ahead and look at the lock up here on the thermite you have a 410 steel liner lock right here, or frame lock, excuse me, it's a frame lock uh, because this is part of the frame of the knife, it kicks in very thick, very strong, hits 50% of the back of the blade there as you can see, and uh, I gotta tell you there is no blade play, left, right, up, down, great lock up, and uh, every time you use it, you know, you're able to open and close this open assisted knife, you know, one handed every time, very easy to do, and uh, it just locks really solid into place, you're not really worried about it, you know, popping out or failing on you, and that is a strong lock in liner there that is uh, really going to be something that you can rely on for years and years without having to worry about the blade starting to wiggle and play on you. You got the brass bushings in there uh, that aren't going to, you know, uh, wear out like the nylon ones would and just very, very high quality uh, Chinese made knife. It is a Chinese made knife, you know, but it's very, very high quality in what you're getting. And that liner lock is super strong, uh, very durable for both wilderness, EDC or tactical use. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the handle here on the thermite. The handle length from here to here is gonna be four and seven eighths, so just under five inches, which is a big knife. And it weighs in at four and a half ounces, which is really the max for me. I really can't carry a pocket knife if it's gonna weigh more than uh, four and a half ounces. That's kind of the limit for me. So this is definitely the limit. A lot of you other guys aren't even gonna notice, uh, but for me, you know, I'm carrying a, a mini Leatherman. I got my keys for work. I got my wallet, my cell phone, my uh, CCW a lot of the time. So, I mean, I got a lot of weight that I'm carrying on me, my little EDC wallet. Uh, so, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm always counting my ounces, want to look at the ounces, uh, but this knife is really on the verge. And for a lot of you, you won't even notice. And for me, I didn't really notice carrying it in my pocket because of how well it's designed. You got a G10 handle scale with some nice machining on there. Just perfect amount of G10 traction. Just feels really good in your hand. That nice lanyard hole there. You could easily get 550 paracord through. Then on the other side, you can see there, you got uh, the steel lock that we talked about, and then the handle, which is 410 uh, steel, which is nice and strong. Uh, and I love that. I love the G10 on one side, steel on the other, because it gives me the traction that I need, but it also gives me the smooth texture on one side, so it's not thrashing and destroying my pocket, particularly for us righties out there. Uh, you know, it feels really good, and you got some good strength to your knife. Uh, as well, you got that Zytel spacer back there with kind of an attempt at jimping. It's not really raised above the handle too much. Uh, you're not really going to get any extra extra traction on that, but uh, very unique. I, I just really like the overall uh, fit and feel of the design. Uh, and at basically five inches in your pocket, it's not that bad. Um, you know, I, I, it really depends on what you're looking for. You're looking for like a large EDC tactical, then yeah, totally, this thermite's gonna be a home run. You know, if you like more of the original cryo size, you know, under three inches, then you are gonna definitely feel it in your pocket. It's gonna be heavy and it is gonna take up some room. So you just kinda kinda decide, do you want a large EDC slash tactical or are you looking for for just pure EDC, then I wouldn't really say this is a pure EDC knife. This is kind of best of both worlds, uh, wilderness use as well. I mean, you could do a lot of different stuff with this thermite. Uh, and the handle, just uh, as you can see here in my hand, oh man, I wear large size gloves, how big it feels in my hand. Uh, I've got plenty of room to spare. See how much there I got to spare? I mean, just awesome. Again, with that jimping, very easy to grab. 
Uh, really, really dig that. You got that finger guard down there as well, which acts as a really good, you know, amount of traction. So if you are doing stabbing, thrusting, even in, you know, a reverse grip, you're going to be totally locked into place and not really worry about your um, stabbing when you're using the thermite. And that handle is just really, really well designed for both EDC and tactical wilderness use. Uh, basically, everything and anything you can throw at that handle, it's going to feel great. You're going to love having it and holding it while you use the blade. Well, everybody, in conclusion, I got to say that this Kershaw Thermite is an amazing large blade. Uh, I love rocking it in my pocket. It's an amazing blade to carry on you, uh, regardless if you're going out in the woods, uh, you know, you're just doing EDC work around the house or, or the job, um, or if you need to maybe have a self-defense pocket knife, uh, the traction is there, the lockup is there, the quality is there. Uh, I mean, this is just a home run. And so far, my favorite offering for 2013 by Kershaw. Uh, I love this knife. If they come out with a Sandvik version, that would be even better with the steel, the Sandvik um, steel that Kershaw loves to use right now. It's made in China. Uh, you know, some of you are going to hate that. Some of you don't care at all. I don't mind it, uh, particularly with the quality control that uh, they're coming out with over at Kershaw from China. Um, they just do a great job. So I would highly recommend, highly, highly recommend the Kershaw Thermite. If you've been thinking about it, do it. Uh, you're going to be looking at between 30 and 40 bucks. Total home run, in my opinion. Another great offering from Kershaw. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.